pictures and show you when we visit next. We are planning on going dog sledding in a few days and can't wait for the photos from that. Love, Chris and Kelly. <laughs> morning. It is I. We are getting ready. Well, I'm already ready, but we are getting ready to leave for the day. We are planning on going to, I think somewhere in Banff. I don't know. We have a bunch of places that we want to see. So we do have a tour at like 1.30 in Banff. So we just figured we'd head there early and see what else we can get up to. So yeah, I'll show you my OOTD. We have a nice mirror. We have a minute. We have a nice mirror in this Airbnb that's like full length, and I can show you my outfits. We are only here for two days. I can show you two of my outfits. <laughs> this is my outfit of the day. I've just got on this like cute. Um, I don't even know what the material is called, but it's like this nice furry warm material, and then underneath. I've got a turtleneck because I feel like it's going to be one of the colder days today that we're here. So this is the look and then I'm just going to wear my, my Ugg boots for the hike. So that's the look. But pro tip, whenever I'm traveling anywhere cold, I used to do this in skating too. I would always wear just like an extra turtleneck underneath. Um, and then obviously if I don't want to even show it, I can just zip this up. And it'll look like I'm not even wearing anything underneath. But kind of like the look of it kind of showing so yeah we'll see you in a sec <laughs> so what do we need for when we go got the goods and usually the goods means tim hortons but today it means starbucks what do we get a bacon cheddar breakfast sandwich oh yeah i usually get their double um, smoked bacon all right but i usually get their sausage that's good but uh, we're trying something new today. On a croissant. Mm. Funny thing is, when I walked out of uh, Starbucks, I, uh, I was like, Kelly, smell this. Now look at the mountains. <laughs> it's like the two best things. You smell bacon and look at mountains. Mm. Hell yeah. I've also done my second embarrassing while well on this trip. First one I don't think I mentioned yet, but when I was uh, checking into the Airbnb, like after we had checked in, I went back outside to like get some stuff. And then I, I tried to enter like the code to get in and it wasn't working. And I tried and I tried, I tried the third time. Then it started beeping at me. And then I see someone come downstairs with like eyeglasses on. And I'm like, why, do, why is Chris wearing eyeglasses? They open the door. It's like um, a lady who, in a French accent. She's like, I think you've got the wrong apartment. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And it was like two doors down. So that was embarrassing. And then here, I grabbed the wrong sandwiches. And then some guy was like, I think you have our sandwiches. So I'm just embarrassing this trip. Your name is not Dylan Kelly. Yeah, no, it's not. It is Kelly. Yeah, I know that now. Thank you. If you want, you can get our cold coffee because I, I don't think I could drink that hot coffee right now. Yeah, it's hot, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Damn it, where is it? It's mm. in the back? It's in my... My backpack. Damn it, I can't go back any further. Oh, wait a second. Good gosh. You can turn off. And that is why you don't just leave it on the dash like a ding-dong, right Kelly? Yep. <laughs> so we are currently on a trail. It was really, when we came to Banff, it was really cold because it was early in the morning. But now that it's more afternoon, it's a lot warmer. So Chris is getting hot, but he wore his snow pants. So this is his version of trying to get cool. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Six God. Trying to be one of them Toronto mans. A... Anyways, the plan was to see Vermilion Lakes, but we kind of got distracted while looking at the shops in the Banff main area. So 
We are heading back because we've got a tour at 1.30 with Banff Tours. We are doing the Johnson uh, ice walk. So we're excited for that. And we will be taking you along, obviously. But yeah, it's a really nice day here. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna casually take this away from her now that she's on a bridge and just slipped and almost dropped her everything into the lake. You know, that's always been my dream. Or the to creek. Like capture that on film. Uh, and you got it. Yep. You got you being a wiener. Dream complete. <laughs> oh boy. I can't wait to watch that footage back. Yep. <laughs> We are on the Johnston Canyon Ice Walk right now. And our tour guide, whose name is Jeff, has been taking care of us um, and telling us all the history behind just like the area, the, area, the land. The land. Missing there's apparently missing squirrels. We're gonna find out what happens to him, hopefully. I also noticed that there's no chipmunks. Um, but yeah, we've got some little ice cleats on, which are helping go up the hills. This mountain, show them So, currently going up, I guess you can't really tell very well how high we're going up, but we're going pretty high. Apparently we're supposed to get up to 135 meters. So, yeah. Final peak. Okay. Sorry, Kayla. And it's like crazy. Amazing. <laughs> Look at it. It's We're heading back on the tour now. And that was epic. Chris said that uh, these uh, pillows of snow look like you can like jump off of them. Or just at least jump into them. This snow does look really soft, actually. It's like jumping into a pillow. Wise words from Chris, jumping into a pillow. <laughs> okay, so we're back in Canmore, and we are going to have some dinner at... Cabeza Grande, which basically means big head. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out. That's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me, thinking that I'm different. 